Good morning, Karibu, back to Y254 TV. Thank you for still sticking with us here. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm having a lot of, yeah, sorry, but then again. Good morning, Karibu Sana to Y254 TV. Thank you for still sticking with us here at Y254. And this is Y in the Morning Empowerment Cafe Kablaval and Yambukize Kusema Friday. Hmm? We're still on Wednesday. <laughs> it's Empowerment Cafe time. And in this particular conversation, we are featuring Liz Lenjo, who is the chairperson uh, Corporate Tribunal in Kenya. Karibu sana, Liz. Asante. Thank you. How's your morning? Morning is good. You came early. Yeah, yeah. You, see, you know you guys. You always want us to come early. You don't interrupt the programming. <laughs> Make sure some music is silent. You know, I didn't even notice it was you. So late, uh, when, when you speak up is when I'm like, oh. She came very early. <laughs> I know call time has to be at least on time. Yeah. I, I'd want I'd want to I'd want to start by asking you what you do mm -hmm. at at um, IP, but I I police you swelling what one will interviews. Who is Liz? <laughs> well, there's a too, by the way. <laughs> Who is Liz? Because you do quite a lot. You're yeah. a legal advisor, you're a tutor uh, at at um at a law school, you 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 are a blogger. You have your own blog. So I'm like, where do I want to start? So, so the best part is that everything I do boils down to I'm an intellectual property, entertainment, media, fashion, and technology ah, lawyer. Gotcha. Too. So in my specialized creative <laughs> industries, basically, uh -huh. yeah. Um, you know, growing up, I wanted to be an artist. Um, but there were so many things, like you know, back in the 2000s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. it, it was it wasn't as lucrative as it is now. Mm -hmm. And um, I was passionate. So basically, um, I found a way uh, to just uh, now get into that space. I started as an entertainment writer. I used mm -hmm. to write for True Love, Zamani Zakale. I used, I used to do the celebrity <laughs> columns. And then there was also a, a campus a website called, um, it was called Campus Vibe. Mm -hmm. I was an editorial assistant when I was like a fresher, second year. Mm -hmm. So um, just that exposure. Then I realized, because before I thought I wanted to be a family lawyer, <laughs> but ah, that's the drama on another level. So uh -huh. <laughs> I said, let me stick with what I love, and it's the creative sector. So I decided to be the lawyer I needed, because at one time, when I was in Campo, I needed uh, an IP lawyer. And because we didn't understand a lot, especially like image rights, you know, when someone mm -hmm. uses your picture, they're marketing something, they're, not, they're supposed mm -hmm. to tell you, right? And then you agree, because mm -hmm. you see when you, you have a reputation, you have that value that you need to mm -hmm. protect as well. So um, I needed someone, but I couldn't find a lawyer at the time who understood image rights. It was mm. still like a very gray area in Kenya. So that was how my passion for IP law was born. So what is IP law? So intellectual property is basically um, that area of law that protects the creations of the mind. And creations of the minds are, you know, are like music, film, like whatever it is you think and make an idea of, right? Um, so... And any business starts with an idea. So how do you protect that idea? So mm -hmm. IP law helps you understand how you, t you protect the expression of it. Because it doesn't ex uh, mm -hmm. protect idea, yani. Because you and I, we go to school, baby to live home science, to mm -hmm. Milan kushona, but Vile Ntashona and Vile will be different, right? Mm -hmm. The way mm -hmm. I'll cut a print and the dress will look will be different from yours or something, right? So now it's that, that creativity that now IP helps protect so that you stand out in your business. You know, Kani Wasani, how do they stand out? If it's a film, how do they stand out? So IP helps do that. Yeah, and, and it's prevalent in the, in the creative space or in the creative economy, but peer guys for science, they need IP. Even oh. lecturers need IP, you can write kitabu, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or even your lecture notes. Um, so everyone needs IP, right? Even oh. you as a host, you're also a performer. So you have IP in your performer, your performance, right? In how you speak, mm -hmm. how you talk. So all these recordings, even for you, that's something that you have a right to. In the Kitilifanya, we Raburu Akasu Airtel. Yeah, so that's any story, a trademark. But uh -huh. the reason is not comment on that um, case yet, because it's a judgment, mm -hmm. um, so that we understand, like, alikuwa uh, na trademark, alikuwa na copyright, and those are some of those things that we'll talk about. Because whenever someone goes to uh, an intellectual property lawyer or a lawyer in general, they'll always say, nataka ku patent idea. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's what even you you hear, yeah. yeah. But in IP, kuna so many uh, ways of protecting these expressions of ideas. Patent is one of them, and it's like you go juicana, because to get a patent, it means like nobody has ever seen it, ever. Uh -huh. Like you're the first person to bring it to life. So that threshold iko juu sana, mm. right? So, but utapata most of the time, you probably don't need a patent. Maybe you are exposed to a certain technology or certain thing, and then una improve kiasi. 
So now it will, it will, be de it will depend on that improvement, mm -hmm. what you would need. So a patent is uko at the top, mostly on scientific innovations and technical mm -hmm. innovations. So, new, so in, in law, we say it's new novel and never been seen before. Like uh, hakuna prior art. And prior art is basically like, say you invent something, yeah? Alafu get excited, you put it on Facebook. The minute you put it on Facebook, even though you're the inventor, usha, usha disclose your prior art. So in you already go in the public. So you can also destroy your own novelty in you know, a patent. Ah. Yes. So um, when, when story uh, will is, Raburu will come up, we were just conversing with someone and Akanimbia, Sasa, kama kila mtu ana patent because that is a sheng word. Mm -hmm. Bazu was, was a sheng word that will is a uh, nini. So if everyone is protecting what they say, um, someone like what happens to Maneno Halisi ya Kiswahili? Like now, mm -hmm. Mkurugenzi. See, Mkurugenzi is a Swahili the Swahili uh, word. Yeah. But then what happens when Abel comes up and says, Iyo jineni? Yeah. Niangu. So actually explain, yeah? Uh -huh. See, we talked about patents. Yes. So kuna other assets you get, like uh -huh. the other mechanisms of protecting. Mm -hmm. So now we are talking about trademark. Uh -huh. So trademark is a brand that you create. You know, like, uh -huh. so like why, why in the morning, why that's a brand. Morning. Why 254, that's a brand, right? But when you're protect, protecting a trademark, kuna what we call the nice classification. So that una declare what kind of business you plan to do or you're doing. So na ziko like forty five. Ah. So yeah, it depends. Really. Yeah, so it depends le bizuko. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you biz ya same media? Ntachukwa class ya media, I think it's class forty one. And then I even have to go further and say, what do I do? Niko na TV show, niko na mm -hmm. blog, niko na what? Like that. So basically, kani mkurugenzi, say, kwa mfano, mm -hmm. I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll register class 41. So you can only come after me, kama ni meitumia kwa yu class 41. Because it's about protecting consumers and yourself from that confusion, that likelihood of confusion. Because kukikuwa na confusion, guys watakwa like, do I go to Grace or do I go to Liz? Right? Na maybe mm -hmm. Liz doalikuwa kwanza kuregister. So you ina protect so that now me ni me register, you need to your protection. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But not to say that uh, kama uku register pia, you don't have a right. What it will come down to is that um, you'll have to show that you may invest, you your reputation, you mm -hmm. have goodwill. But of course it would be much harder because again, to prove without a registration, it means you have to have in litigation. Mm -hmm. Right? That's more expensive, it will take longer, three to five years, and especially like business entertainment, sana like in litigation, like you lose business, like you stop being relevant. Now you're busy fighting in court and you could have just figured mm -hmm. things out, kubali mali umefanya makosa and move on. Mm -hmm. So with trademarks, it's literally about the class. Uh -huh. So, say, mtu wa register mkurugenzi, maybe I sell um, stationery. Mm -hmm. Karatis za ofisi, bahasha, mm -hmm. nini nini, nini, I call it mkurugenzi mm -hmm. brand. He can't come after me because in a lingana class. So unless I may register your class here stationary, Haizi could just say mm -hmm. ah, okay. um, you now you can't mm -hmm. use it. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, right? Unless it's like a made up one word what I just scare before mm -hmm. and then I bring it to life. But uh Manino Kawaida, you can't like uh, get that exclusive you only get exclusivity to the extent of your bizunafanya. And that's the thing people don't understand. So in um if I'm getting what you're saying correctly, is assuming sir, that I want to start a biashara, mm -hmm. I want to start a business, an organization, something, and I want to use Gina too. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, there's so many people who are called Chris. Yeah. So maybe to say Chris Ventures. So I have to register it yeah. in that specific category. Yes. So when someone else comes, they can't. Yeah, they Registrate can. Registrate in the same class. In the same class, in the same ah. business that you're doing. But of course, again, if you could just turn out to things like branding ab around your name, it's always, it can be very dicey, right? Because like you said, kuna so many graces. But also secondly, when you brand your business as you, you see, eventually, maybe utapata investors, you've turned yourself into a commodity. I'll give you an example. <laughs> Kate Spade, uh -huh. what, were, what were fashion, like Kate Spade, uh, GB Choose, Jimmy Chu, those two wali name their brands after themselves. Eventually wakapata investors wakanunuliwa. But now, like, what has it, like it's, it's hearsay, uh, but based on US media, mm -hmm. Kate Spade, one of the reasons she committed suicide was because now after she, she sold her name, hangi aza upia. Because now she can't even do say, she can't even say tables by Kate Spade. Because alipia na jina yake. Nuona. Jimmy Chu can't do anything now and say by Jimmy Chu. Because his name now is the brand. His, Yeah. 
So that's a danger when you, you I'm just busy, I'm like Liz Creation, mm. Liz Julini, you know. So we always tell people, create a, a brand that is separate from your from your personality. Ah. And then now, Niku explain another in terms of, mm -hmm. of similarity. Mm -hmm. So you know the brand Home 254, the Kenyan brand, yes. the clad, right? Mm -hmm. Tukona Y254. Yeah. Akuna mtu akona exclusive use over 254. Unacheki? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. So once people wa kielewa hivo, then also hopefully people will also be more creative with how they brand their businesses and their products. So, so we're still getting there, Mali. People are trying ah. to understand these things. So that brings me to the point, yeah. Two, two things are in my mind right now. That the part where a husband and a wife decide to match their names, call it a business. How does that go about? Someone is called... James, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. then they decide to call something Jamlis. Mm. So how does that go about? Is it the same na kuji tabinyo? You you call uh, is it the same with the uh, previous example we pay ya jam ya nikita company yangu jina yangu like separating the name from. So I think in that instance, mm -hmm. uh, you've created like a new word, right? Mm -hmm. So at a lab the high meaning, we like an acronym that mm. don't even have a meaning. So that's like a brand you've taken as that, uh -huh. right? So now again, it will not boil down to the contract you will have. You know, people also assume that since we are we are married, we don't need contracts. Business is business, relationships. Ah. You know, like separate business and uh, relationship, like kama it's a familial relationship, a romantic relationship, like ni muhimu sana. Because like we've seen some of our Kenyan celebs, they lose out because uh, if a point, they just had too much drama, then to they're taking down their social media, yeah. they're losing money. And I'm like, yo, you could have still work, like, worked for Modra even if you break mm. up, because uh, we, we only need to make a living, right? Yeah. So contracts, again, become a really big issue in, in everything, business, in, in, in the creative space, contracts. Because now with the contract, you'll agree, if we break up, so what's the plan? Am I passionate about this business? Maybe then I want to keep the name. So to agree, to Andikiani, because to make create your brand, Pamoja, mm. maybe I'll buy you out. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. I think Maramingi Mapenzi takes the day. To <laughs> <laughs> we will always be together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we will always love each other. But anyway, so that was the first thing that came to my mind. The second thing that came to my mind, what does it mean when they tell you they want to name such, especially for schools, because mm -hmm. we run a school. Mm -hmm. And before we came up with the name, they, they told us we have to search for this name. So assuming, uh, my, that brings me to the question here. Kwazi ni shule zote thousands of schools we have in Kenya. Akuna shule ziko na wajina zinafanana. Ziko. So how does so, that go? Uh, let me put it this way. IP, intellectual property in general, mm -hmm. is more active in Kenya in the last, let's say, 10, 12 mm -hmm. years or so. So we ended up changing also the Companies Act. Because mm -hmm. Kitambo, on the company register, mm -hmm. you could have similar names. Mm -hmm. So kunge kwa na, na Liz Grace Academy, na Grace Academy, right? But now, if you have a trademark register, because now that's the IP asset, now mm -hmm. that's the brand. Because kuna company name na kuna brand. Mm -hmm. So kwa brand, ule hata inda kuregister mwanzo, yendo wako na iyo, right? Ya kukuwa na brand. So aneza fanya branding. So you, you can low-key still with, stick with Grace Academy. Okay. But now me, I'm the one who can actively push because I got the trademark. But again, it, it varies with some circumstances. Also, maybe you're passionate enough, you come, you fight, open some interesting arguments, mm. and then maybe we might end up coexisting. There's also what we call coexisting, especially when you use common names. So, but you can imagine to coexist, both of us have to work extra hard for our customers. To outdo. To outdo each other, exactly. Yeah. Alafu na pia customers wetu wa separate. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Competition. So, so could have those could have those two levels. So what happened is Badaya when we changed we had a, we amended the company's act. Now the company uh, registrar he also does a a search kuangalia pia if there's a trademark. So they're trying to sort of align the trademark register and the company register. It because of that whole how we were doing things before. Mm -hmm. But in other countries utapata the company registry na na the IP register work in the same office. So ni kama they speak to each other when they are clearing mm -hmm. registrations. But nonetheless uh, with, a, with a trademark of course ni mm -hmm. mu fanye search because si utafanya marketing mm -hmm. materials, si fanye branding yeah. If you, you have the tubes, you want to do a billboard. So you never want to be in a position where you can say, hey, you make a billboard, and by the way, I have a trademark certificate, right? Because now you, all that investment is going to be Because our laws are, they protect the first to file, the person who was first to file. 
ah. right so wewe lazima uende register then you have that in especially for like trademarks patents uh, then kuna what we call utility models utility models ni kama sasa improve patent flani so ukiangalia like telephones or mobile phones right every time there's like a new improvement that new mm. improvement do na register you in a protect your utility model mm. americans call it petty patent yeah ah so okay. It vary like with the kind of innovation you're bringing to the space. Um, so yeah, I think that's generally a primer. And then now we have the now copyright itself that protects now the expression of the ideas now in terms of literary works, artistic works, sculptures, architecture. Architects don't even know they have copyright over their ah. designs. Most of them don't know. Um, software, as mm -hmm. we protect using copyright, because when you check your source code, it's yeah. like a literary works. Mm -hmm. ABC, hashtags, mm -hmm. what. So that's, in the US, they, they have been doing the patent way. So but it was very difficult to find your business. Mm -hmm. Things became very expensive. So for us, we, we, we protect software by copyright. So it's much easier. Um, and then kuna sound recordings. This broadcast is protected by copyright, so it's the exclusive property of KBC. If I'm doing a film and then they de we decided we want to use one of your segments mm -hmm. from in the morning, Nonyesha, one of the actors and I watch a show, I have to come to KBC and get permission. Say, hey, I liked this episode. We're doing a, an episode uh, in our show on women empowerment, and I want to show uh, one of my actors and I watch a show called TV. Yake ni ah. So, si your broadcast it kwa right. kwa kwa the show uh -huh. for in the film, right? So, I have to clear the rights because you need property at KBC. So, when you turn around, maybe movie mtu ana uko kwa hao TV yako inaonyesha maybe assuming inaonyesha news or inaonyesha. Mm. You have to actually go and ask for permission to put that. Exactly. Or alternatively, you create your own. I love you in the show, kwa your film. So everyone are gonna IP. Um, so again, to na shoot film, and then there's a beautiful art mural at the background mm -hmm. or uh, a painting. We have to know who msani ni nani, right? So that to clear rights, because you also have your reputation. So with copyright, kuna those exclusive rights, your right to control. How will it be reproduced? Nani and I have access. Unataka kuifanya, where do you want it to be available? On digital, on hard copy, or whatever. Like that, that is the right copyright gives you. And aside from that, it gives you also what we call moral rights. Uneza decide si taki kuwa associated with what it is you're doing, or what you're doing, I feel like it, it is disrespecting my work and my mm -hmm. reputation. So that, we call that moral rights. So uneza say, like Kibiso uneza say, Ay, you, you guys, your reputation, please don't use our broadcast. Just mm. produce something on your own or look for another person to mm. collaborate with or work with. So that, so unapata, there's those two rights. Mm. And copyright exists for the lifetime of the author plus 50 years after death. So which means you, this is an asset una person to your next of kin, to your relas. You know, and it's the same thing with the other IP. In a patent, patent in a last for 20 years. I laugh after that in a public domain. So if the inventor dies within those 20 years, Seme ali invent alafu year nine, he passes on. Is a royalty sustained kwa family yake, right? Same thing with utility. Utility models need 10 years. Alafu uh, inena into the, what we call the public domain. Ya manisha rights zimeisha hapo. So now, nikipata hiyo technology, neza reverse engineer and I create something new and I don't owe you a cent. Ah. But, niki invent during that 20 years or 10 years around what you've created, then I have to come to you for permission to commercialize. Because rights zako bado ziko valid. Okay. So copyright you know, is like the most flexible mm -hmm. with the longer um, period or time. Mm -hmm. So at least there, anything I want to do, I still have to come to you. I will have to come to your next of kin because mm -hmm. 50 years after death. So again, now it means paperwork. Paperwork is really important. The contracts I was talking about, because again, we, we do a lot of mm -hmm. collaborations. In um, so like this is a collaboration, right? So if I, if I need access to this recording, I'll have to come to ask for permission and say, hey, I recognize the broadcast near KBC, but can you give me a, an excerpt? Mm -hmm. Ni ni hype kwa social media or something, mm -hmm. right? Then to agree. I don't just pick it and just use it. It's yours, right? Mm -hmm. um, so those contracts are important. I'm a photographer. I come and shoot your widow or your event, yeah? Yes, so in this instance, when we need a job, mm -hmm. so in this instance, we're calling it a work for hire. I wouldn't be here if you didn't call me. So, your IP, in the, the copyright, those photographs, niyako, kuzu na nilipa. But lazima pia, like, nitu kena contract. Because the Copyright Act is very clear. Kama kuna any transfer in copyright, lazima tuandikiani. Ah. So, history, I'm a gentleman's agreement, you guy, my guy. Solid, tuna, East Bank. Tuna, <laughs> Joanna, <laughs> your friends. So, people are losing a lot of value in that. Mm. Yeah. Um, 
So again, I think which other industries did I mention? Sound recordings na protect you na copyright. Um, what else did I include? Uh, films, audiovisual works, advertisements, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like everything we create in the creative economy, tuapatani mostly under copyright. The music, kuna the sheet music itself, malino na ma crochet ni ni nini, and then the sound recording itself, the lyrics. No, no, like kuna different assets that are protected um, in copyright. So again, in Akwa, who owns what or who has contributed to what? Yeah. Okay. So how do you, how, how do creatives protect their IP? So now it comes to, you know, let me explain. Um, kuna patent, kuna copyright, um, kuna trademark. So it's assessing what you, what you have created and then mm -hmm. tunangalia, what do we need? So tell me, a musician. A musician nama kama, nsema, minu mendika ngoma. So I'll ask you, so Grace, um, when do you have lyrics? Eh, okay, so you own the copyright. When do um, will you arrange music? So in music, kuna arrangement, kuna, uh, um, kuna the arrangement, kuna the lyrics, na kuna the melody. Because most of the time, we're going to go to the studio, and we're going to say, when you're going to go to the studio, you're going to go to the beat. <laughs> yeah, it's not only what happens, bad. right? Bad, bad. So iki happen evo, um, then it will be to me agree because utapata since you, you can't you can't like uh, transcribe that music, utapata I'll, I'll, I'll include some creativity mm -hmm. on my part. So which will make me then a co composer mm -hmm. or a co author. Mm -hmm. So 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 those are some of the things they they never understand. So na explain yam sani bituka iso, right? Nambia if we nako studio if they have someone who will be there, maybe they're really good at music and they tell you ah apa apa what I rap, you could hapa iv and then to do what? Um sani to arrange a kona copyright. Yeah. So in that instance, okay, and I'll tell you, we need a split sheet. Because uh -huh. in Goma, it can, it's an asset on its own. It can appear in a movie. Like, look at like, um, I'm a fan of Whitney Houston, the late Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. If you look at most of the music, uh, of the films she did, Sikuli Kwana music, mm -hmm. right? So whoever wrote that music, or the people who wrote those pieces of music she performed, mm -hmm. they got paid. So they come to you and they say, Grace, when will you how will I know? We're using it, it on, on film X. What is your price? On Alipuado, na tuna kwambia it's going to be on a film like there's a whole disclosure and everything. Mm. But they have to know that you are the author of the song. How will you prove your split sheet? Wasani wengi watu mi split sheet. Your split sheet pia and uh, God forbid you keep a son. That is how now your next of kin watapokea royalties. That's how what a person, let's say you come on iTunes, uh, on Apple Music, you make a Spotify or whatever. Based on that, sasa ndi watakuja, watanda watandikia Spotify wa seme, tumepata court order, we are officially recognized as guardians, sasa hizi royalties, mda channel kwa Bank X. Instead of removing the music, we want to continue commercializing, continue the legacy, but, and here are the papers. Ah, uh, change. Change, to, change now, pay us. It's, it's, actually I'm realizing it's a whole, it's yeah, a whole thing. It's business. And it's you see, that's why, like, Hollywood is really successful, because this is the stuff they do back end. Um. And they have teams, like, Again, Kenyans are still learning and embracing teamwork. Eh? Mm. Tunapenda, what I love to joke, called Pekiako Productions. Mm. Uno nataka kwa nikangomo, nataka kufanya marketing, you want to do CG, mm. what, like you want to do everything. But if you have a team, then people will help you. Yeah, it's always dangerous. Again, creative, cre the creative sector, kuna unfortunately, a lot of also mm. um, self-lawyering. So, now, now, like all these things I've explained, mm -hmm. ukikuja kwa wakili, aneza kuexplain easy, akusedi, save money. Because, again, if you do something wrong, let's say we, we record a song, and then I used someone, someone else's song, then they, they sue me. Nambi wapo nitalipa five mic. Nita five mic. Infringement, infringement. Remember I said copyright yeah. gives you the right to control what you create. Mm. You came and used my work now, kuni on permission. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'll sue you because that's yeah. my right. It's, yeah. it's in the constitution, mm. it's in the copyright act. I'll come after you. So ni muhimu fanya your due diligence kwanza so that uki, uki a kado, you, you're you protecting your investment, right? Because mm. then you will know that if you're going to do a remix of my song, mm. you have to get my permission. We collab, I tell you what I want, what's in it for me. We agree to andikiane, we share the profits or whatever it is we agree on. Mm. You yeah. had said something about. Um, it said something about value when, when, when you said about um, people are losing a lot of value, especially in this Ubeshte thing. Where yeah. in Rafikiangu, I know you live, me, me, to, 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 like we are friends, can we do this? So, how can they leverage on IPs to make money? 
So of course, the registrations, Kwanza. Mm -hmm. And honesty is also important when you're doing the registration. Because mm -hmm. we have people, got a collab, we're working together, we said we'll co-own rights. Mm -hmm. And then the end, ni register, ni kuache. Like, so like for us, copyright, copyright in Kenya, ni voluntary ku register. Si lazima. But ni humu, ni humu register because at the end of the day, anyone who wants to work with you, atakuwa like Grace. Uko shua ni yako. Then you'll say, oh yeah, yeah, this is my script. Ndiyo hii certificate. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. inaonyesha you're a serious mm -hmm. person. So if we wrote that script together, then you also have to be honest and say, hey, Liz, uh, na register corporate AI script, because ulisikia, maybe tutakuwa na deal na KBC, um, ebu ni pati ID number yako, blah, 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 to register certificate it, okay, na majina yetu. So that we can get deal na KBC, we share the profits, right? So honesty is always really important. Mm -hmm. Then now also the contracts. We agree from the beginning how we're working together, mm -hmm. um, who is doing what in the relationship or in the partnership, so that also had to duplicate efforts. Because again, if to say me, we don't get a KBC, we don't get a KBC. In other words, Mahali, either to talk the guys we are speaking with, mm -hmm. or even us, we conflict each other. And then KBC will say, "Ah, you guys are not serious." Me, I'm confused. Eh, hey, actually, when the production mm -hmm. X, because those guys look like they have their act together. So that's what me, it means by leveraging. So to put a IP. Uh, guys are stuck in the oh, acha nika register, nika register, but una register alafu. Mm -hmm. So una register mm -hmm. do make do. Ko make mm -hmm. do means the contracts, means the right contracts, the right relationships. Ukienda ku pitch, you don't just show up and you, you're showing, you're, you're giving everything that you've created. Kuna, kuna um, a way you also pitch. Because again, we, pitching is also a shark game, right? You're going to someone who also has vested interest. Sata chukwa kile ume present na ende, achi one, two, three things, mm -hmm. akona do. Like we're fastest to execute, mm -hmm. right? And then also when you're leveraging, to be aware that kutakwana disputes. There's no relationship that's smooth. Mm -hmm. We always disagree on one thing or another. So in that regard, Sasa, tribunals become more uh, flexible. Because mm -hmm. tribunals are a specialized court. So come like copyright, we are about talking about the creative sector, right? Music, film, audiovisual, mm. la la la. So as you are sana, it's good they come to us because we are more flexible mm. na to corner that expertise. Mm -hmm. So okay, come, I'm not basically mm. say, ah, you're wrong. And I will be so and so. Mm. I'll, I'll also interrogate the case and say, okay, so what happened? And I help bring you guys together. We call it alternative dispute resolution. Mm. Yeah. So I make your life easier. I guide you, and I I make sure that everyone is is getting something out of this relationship. Mm. Unless some may, may decide, eh, sisi to make sana, it's a rap. Then, yeah, but in any high court. <laughs> but it's always important, like especially for the creative sector. Like the tribunal is, is a very good platform. It's, mm -hmm. it's affordable. So, na pata uta, uta file na maybe 500 bob, 300 bob. Mm -hmm. And the best part is you can come as yourself. Like, mm -hmm. unidu wakili. Mm -hmm. Wauna vile uko na ukuja na evidence yako. Mm -hmm. Again, how do you leverage? In a manisha, when we vibe, when we are chatting about working together, See my phone calls, pekiake. like have your texts, do your emails and say, hey, we agreed, we are doing, you have know, it like on paper. Have, have it on paper. So even if it's not a contract, contract, like have some evidence. Because mm -hmm. okay, up here before us, here, you're able to say, okay, me in your evidence, yangu. yeah. And you can come, you can approach us in English or Kiswahili. And if us comes to us, we have vernacular, we have a translator. That's a good thing. <laughs> your flexibility. Uh -huh. And turnaround time here too is, is, is much faster. We have like about 60 days to deliver any judgment or ruling or to make sure parties are meskizana. Um, so, tapata, ukija, ukija mwenyewe, it's much easier, right? Because you also know your agency. This other guy also knows his agency. Mm -hmm. They're like, wait, fanyi raka raka. Mm -hmm. We finish this doro, we go and make mm -hmm. money, sort of thing. And that's the beauty about tribunals. So, we're trying to also make sure that uh, when creatives are even drafting their contracts, they include that part. Because uh -huh. we are set up under the Copyright Act, but our, um, in law we call it jurisdiction. So mm -hmm. the, the, what we can do is a little limited. So mm -hmm. mostly uh, disputes are copy, uh, copyright management organizations, is CMOs, CAMP, CSK, mm -hmm. when they have issues with Kenya Copyright Board, maybe because they are their regulator. So if you make under Mizwa, they'll now come to us. So those are the things. Uh, but also another thing is, uh, we can, ile atakama hiko kwa contract is, um, uh, a dispute of a registration of a copyright, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you come to the register, you can to um, the registration. I can come out to the mm -hmm. tribunal and say, me, I'm not happy with this registration because I was also a co-author, na siko kwa your certificate. Uh -huh. Indo evidence yangu. And then as a tribunal, to tangali evidence, na tusema inyewe, Grace uli kosea, he, he, he certificate to me revoke, lazima, iende, u register afresh, mm -hmm. and you include Liz in the co-authorship.
right? Mm -hmm. So the tribunal is another flexibility. Another thing also we can do mm -hmm. is uh, we give what we call Anton Pillar Awards. So these are, I mean, an Anton Pillar uh, order. This is basically come on attack to preserve evidence. Mm -hmm. So now for us, like in the um, digital space, there's evidence that umetumia my work uh, that seek on a control over but ni me, maybe ni me cheki on your mm -hmm. social media or something. Mm -hmm. I can come to the tribunal and say, hey, Grace, Alifanya123, and I don't want her to delete that video until I get a copy. Maybe I don't even know how to use Facebook, right? So I don't know maybe how to download it. So I come and I say, okay, this is how I can show that she will tamper with the evidence, tafadhali, tafadhali, as a tribunal, give me this order, a preserve mm -hmm. the evidence. Not tamper your order, because I may show that. Mm -hmm. And anyway, the evidence is in danger of being tampered with, not as a different case. Mm -hmm. Then we issue that, and then we copy away. We have your evidence will be like, kujaki kotini, to skize kesi, and then we'll know what to do after that. So you'll get it faster from us, especially in the copyright space, than okay, in the high court. Because high court is busy. Cases ni mingi, and they are the powers and the jurisdiction are not any more because it's a murder, and it's a sejima boy land. Nini, nini, like mm -hmm. they have so many issues, right? We could have a specialized tribunal, cheaper, faster, easier access. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so that, that has brought me to the point where, as you were talking, you mentioned something about peer as you pitch. Mm -hmm. You see. Pitching is one of the areas where ideas are stolen. Yes. So Tajipata Pia, maybe I was talking to you and I disclosed something and then now it was just I was just sharing with a friend, I was just sharing something and then I realized that that idea Nikipinduka Gafla bin Vu Akiwa to tender out to it. Yeah. So how, how how are creatives able to protect their ideas from being stolen? All right, so by the time you're going to do a pitch, mm -hmm. most of the time, the idea is not fully developed. Or this, let me say, expression of the idea is not fully developed. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly in a concept-ish stage. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say ujeka any, any manpower in it, mm. any uh, investment, right? So, but because high fit into these examples in Lipeana, high fit kwa copyright, because copyright, I protect concepts, I protect business methodologies, mm -hmm. uh, I protect um, ideas in themselves. Like mm -hmm. it has to be sufficiently developed. Nikiona hivi nasema, e ini film X. Nikiona hivi ngoma ya nani o ngoma X, you know. So if it's not sufficiently developed, but kuna some work that has gone into it, it's, it's what we call now proprietary information. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's on its way to being an asset. So you need an undisclosure agreement. Ah. Yeah, so that NDA will basically say that I'm bringing some proprietary information because maybe you are planning to code, I'm, I'm pitching to, to code develop, co produce, or work together in some sort. Mm -hmm. So your NDA, it, 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 it is custom made. Mm -hmm. Actually, I told you guys, I told you how when I don't have to go to so yeah. Google, template, okay, <laughs> wait up the well, my friend, I have, I have seen <laughs> templates. I'm trying to go like, I'm going to write, okay, Liz, Liz. Help me sue this guy. Now be able to your document. So I Google. I can download template. Alafu apochi ni mendi kwa protected by the laws of Georgia. Now I can say. Exactly. So like, so how am I going to help I you? I know. Since si, si jurisdiction to go to Kenya, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that in disclosure, it, it, there's a way it's drafted to make you. Uh, express to the other party that mm -hmm. I'm giving you this kind of information. It might, it, it's likely to change your business in a very big way and I have a right to that. So if you, ukini, what we call circumvent, ukini zunguka and you do mm. this without me, you owe me. Yeah. yeah? So that NDA ni muhimu. And sometimes you talk like uh, an IP lawyer who is well versed in your industry, they'll also help you prepare your pitch so that you don't mm. give too much. Mm. Yeah, because you can pitch, the company you're pitching to, they'll have their developers, business business management, they have their key people, they're taking notes. Yeah, so you have to be very smart. So we prepare you also for that process and there possible issues in as a come up so that would appear what risk are you mm. running so are you ready to run this risk mm -hmm. but you can end up blind like we are seeing a lot with our artists and creatives stories mm -hmm. twitter facebook oh you stole you stole you stole yeah. because they skip that anyone who doesn't want to sign an undisclosure agreement at the time we're going to pitch think twice which brings Hajaku respect. Which brings <laughs> conflicts, and that yeah, brings yeah. us to now this point where I want to ask you: Why are celebrities always fighting? Okay, this is my honest opinion and mm -hmm. my analysis. I think I feel like 
kuna a lot of ego yeah and as long as kuna ego kwa e space then we are losing money mm. they are losing opportunities mm. someone outside who wants to come and work with you because you've seen also there's a lot of international presence they are trying to get into our market wanataka kupenya do collabs mm. so they're always like hey maze grace is petty hey juzi we 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 saw on twitter cg on x alianika so and so they fought so they're like ah z. so it's it's usually an ego game unfortunately mm. in my view and i'm like if you set your ego aside we we'll work together we make money we move on to the next thing cuz ini biashara mm. yeah unless you're just in it for the fun of it i don't know what you're eating i don't know how you're paying your rent mm-hmm. and your taxes but that's the thing ego ndio shida more than anything watu wataki kusema yenyewe grace hapa nilikosea how can i make it right na pia grace aseme yenyewe hata mimi ningefanya 1 2 3 tungesikizana so how do we make this right and move forward yeah so ni ego tu ndio maana tuta pull down channel because I'm like you can't have it and yeah. so if you can't have if I can't have it you can't, you have, can't it. have it pull it down both of us so that brings me to that point where um you've you've talked about what the tribunal does uh, you've explained uh the difference between coming to you as a tribunal as opposed to going to the high court yeah. but now we will still we will still find people rather creatives mm. when you how to get this knowledge so how do we get creatives to embrace coming to the tribunal mm-hmm. as opposed to kusum to uh kwa high court kwenye kesi yake itasikizwa 19th century <laughs> years to come or something so we're, we're really working hard to find ways to collaborate mm-hmm. like that's why i'm here and um, i thank you so much for mm-hmm. hosting us um so we do a lot of co- collaborations because mm-hmm. again utapata law is very heavy right mm-hmm. so how do you bring law to wanjiko through mm-hmm. collaborations mm-hmm. see see yatini kwambe we kuja kwangu mimi ni kuje kwako right mm-hmm. so for us that's what we are doing we are trying to also revamp our social media presence uh we have another uh, exciting collaboration with Kenya Film Commission the Kalasha International mm-hmm. Film and Market Festival iko next week mm-hmm. 27th 28th 29th yeah it's free for students we have a copyright law clinic people can come to our stand mm-hmm. um we'll share we have a calendly link kama mtu anataka personal time with one of the tribunal members they can book a slot and we'll meet with them mm-hmm. but we'll also have um, a, a number of volunteering IP lawyers as well so you can come know your rights skiza more about tribunal also just know mm-hmm. am i doing the right thing in my business pro bono yeah and there also there's also all these other things that are happening i'll be on a panel on ai mm-hmm. and the film industry ai is really changing things mm-hmm. right tafika point sasa tutakuwa tu tunakamali alafu things are just happening in the background yeah? yeah they record your voice and then the next thing ume ume shoot another show mm-hmm. and you are not even in studio so so many things mm-hmm. are happening so for us it's the collaborations mm-hmm. uh, and we're always also up, open to ideas in terms of how do we reach more mm-hmm. people because you see also tunazeka <laughs> <laughs> the people i i have trained when mm-hmm. i started my career are now Mamesha skuma. So that's why yeah. like for me this this platform is important because now I'm, uh, there's an 18 year old somewhere mama za form 4 nataka yeah. kumsania na skiza. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like eh kuna tribunal, eh kuda copyright, eh kuna yeah. IP, you know? So those collaborations for us are are most important because we have to give law a human face. So that what watch kuogopa sheria. Ah, yeah. you've mentioned about Kalasha. So as as I begin to land this plane mm-hmm. this conversation, tell us about um the partnership between Kalasha and KFC. Okay. So for the first time the tribunal the corporate tribunal mm-hmm. is um collaborating with Kalasha. Mm-hmm. Um because we are passionate about the creative sector, the creative industry mm-hmm. and we know disputes like I said issue your value, right? So as we are here to tell the industry, we are here for you, we are open mm-hmm. to serve and we want to make your life easier mm-hmm. and at the same time as we're doing that we are we are, we are helping um Kalasha and Kenya Film Commission mm-hmm. to elevate the film industries so that they have a more structured um you know engagement they're promoting film mm-hmm. in Kenya um and even just educating um so that's our partnership and then we are also a sponsor we are sponsoring the best um student film So for us again it's also just showing that we believe in these creations mm-hmm. that we are nurturing helping nurture talent mm-hmm. um so that we just make sure that we we are sending the message that we believe in this industry we believe mm-hmm. in the creatives and that there are so many opportunities to collaborate so that's our partnership and then we like i said we'll have the panel on artificial intelligence so I'll be giving some legal insights what are policy makers thinking about ai and what should even creatives start thinking is, is ai compare ama can we can i find a way to collaborate with ai 
Misikose Kazi sort of thing. So mm -hmm. that's what our partnership looks like. And also, we'll be telling the people who visit our stand about other tribunals. Because mm -hmm. tribunals, mob sana, by the way. Because like to say, say to me, you, you, you're a traveler. Mm -hmm. Alafu, you're, you miss your flight or your flight is delayed by X amount. Terms and conditions in Asema, you need to be uh, paid like 20, 30% value of, your, of, of what you paid for your ticket. The airline doesn't want mm -hmm. to pay or your travel agency doesn't want to pay. Kuna civil aviation tribunal. Ah. You go and move them and say, hey, doi kesi yangu, here's a ticket, here's the delay, la la la. They sort you. So I think there's so much. Yeah. That's what I'm saying now. We're figuring ways to bring the law mm. to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. to our competition tribunal. I decide to you know have very unfair business practices. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe you feel like Grace Lee's Academy versus Grace Academy is not like I did the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. It's something. If it, on a competition mm -hmm. level, you can move the tribunal, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you can identify your unfair business practice, ni mefanya. When they tribunal, maybe ni me mislabel product yangu. I call it, I don't know, cocoa tables. Maybe you're expecting to see chocolate. Una <laughs> <laughs> kula, you're like, hey, this is strawberry. Why did you call it cocoa? You misrepresented. Yeah. Competition. Yeah? Ah. Exactly. So, like, kuna so many tribunals that will make our life easier, dispute resolution faster. To watch a clog courts. Then to say, oh, kuna backlog, I don't like the court, justice is inaccessible. It's accessible, mm -hmm. we just don't know. So we'll be telling yeah. uh, Kenyans and creatives about all these other tribunals. Mm -hmm. buy land. What other options do you have to a dispute for it? For example, Gavai Chukwa Land Yako, Wajenge Barabara. There's a tribunal for that. Yeah. So we we'll also be telling them about all these other things so that as they are growing their business and they're growing as as individuals wholesomely, they also know what other options they have. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, that 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 brings me to that has reminded me of um the other day when there was Kalasha Awards. Mm -hmm. Is it Kalasha? Yes. And then after Kalasha musicians, artists came out gun blazing saying, Oh, we were given awards but we weren't given monetary value for them. Where does that lie? Because guys like Sunny Asani Pei came out very aggressively working some at Kuana door and I'm like Excuse me. Um you I think it look a prize money lichelewa. Ah. Yeah. So is it a contract issue? Um and I guess sometimes So their words come with monetary value. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So yeah, like for us the best um <laughs> student film will get fifty K. Ah. Yeah. So, so the, when they're given their word, they're supposed to have some money attached to so them. So it will depend. So you will even be told you you will win X, Y, and Z. Because you see also it's subject to the sponsors. Because mm -hmm. like Kalasha in this instance, wanna collaborate na so many other parties. So like us, we came in and we said, Sisi tunasaka ku, collaborate on this category. Because this, wow. this is what, because we're passionate about mm -hmm. this particular category. So Sisi took all mm -hmm. in charge of that category. Mm -hmm. So they're they collaborating. So But you know, they're in charge of now amalgamating kila kitu kujia mm -hmm. moja. So I guess they had issues in terms of the delivery, uh -huh. then wasani wakapigia kelele, they got paid. But it, it was that, in that regard, so that was a contractual issue. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, while well, he react fast, fast, and uh -huh. they made yeah. it right. Yeah. So may, maybe someone had a job, and then they assumed these guys were paid. Then by the other. So I, do, I don't know about the circumstances of the case, but I'm speculating. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it was purely a contract uh -huh. situation. Uh -huh. yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking, where should I end this conversation at? <laughs> because we, <laughs> we need to end the conversation. But... Um, if I ask you to give us a parting shot, any other thing you'd want to share? I think I've covered in a nutshell. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, like intellectual property, copyright, mm -hmm. it's very broad. Mm -hmm. And guys usually imagine that um, it's a conversation you can have in one day. Mm -hmm. But I, I usually say, at least in yakondoa some ignorance kidogo, right? Yeah. So at least you have an idea. Because you have an idea, ukienda kwa wakili pia unaelewa semblance mm -hmm. of what you need right kuliko you go blindfolded and ukiambiwa ya ruka kwa shimo you would be like at least sema ni ruka kwa shimo ni sema ni ruka yeah so and i i think um it's you know it's these are growing conversations for sure na unapata we are we we we're headed in the right direction basically oh, so amazing yeah. amazing so parting shot Parting shot is, I think, number one, just telling creatives, believe in your ideas, in your creations. Just yeah? That? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. So, sorry. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> so I think my, in my, my mind, I forgot you're a lawyer. Yeah, you forgot I'm a lawyer. <laughs> so, um, so, for the viewers who are watching, I'm basically saying that um, believe in your ideas. Make sure you register, sign those contracts, and we have the contracts um, in place. 
um, and then invest in yourself. Ukisikia kuna training, just show up. Because um, you find that it will be cheaper to go for a training and you understand something rather than when they get in trouble and then you're paying a lot of money uh, to get yourself out of trouble. Um, and then please come for Kalasha. Um, tikiti.co.ke is a website. Students ni free. Um, come, network, have fun, chill with us, meet other people and yeah, and just keep investing in your craft. There's so much money in the creative industry. Yeah. Amazing. At least consume when you number two can to ignorance, three Nikalan Kitu. So I'm imagining if that's me what it has done to someone else out there. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Lee. Thank you so much for and having me. Thank you me. for sharing the knowledge. You, ooh, no, if someone will just sit and, and still keep listening and listening and listening. You're such an interesting person. Asante. Thank Can you for you having me. <laughs> that was Liz Lenjo. She's just an interesting, interesting person. I think you know to Danganyanga lawyers Manaka Wanakanga so uptight, but then having a conversation with Liz, so easy, so down to earth, so interesting. I hope Meskia, when you cook on the creatives, people out there coming up with new content, new ideas, I hope you've grab something for yourself from this conversation and if you have not we will still have this conversation up on our youtube channel at y254 channel later on in the day you can still go back and check but in the meantime we're taking a very short break val will be back with more <laughs>